Let's look at tutorial 4-10. We are given that 0 0.03 cubic meters of air is taken through a constant pressure process. Now, a constant pressure process is important because based on that, the properties will change as the air goes from one state to the next state. So, if we look at the two significant terms, we need to know the gas is air and we need to know a constant pressure process. We first write the parameters that we have available to us. V1, P1, T1. Next, using the perfect gas relation, we make M the subject of the formula and we calculate the mass flow rate. Next, using the relationship for constant pressure, the volume over T1 is equal to volume 2 over T2. Crunching the numbers, we get our answer for V2. Finally, for a constant pressure process, the heat transfer is given by MCP T2 minus T1. Substituting in the values which you got earlier, the mass, 0.1577, then the data for specific heat at constant pressure, and the difference in temperature, we get our final answer. Heat transfer is equal to 30.9 kilojoules. A positive figure tells us that the heat is entering the system.